In starting the sketch of my base feature, looking at the drawing, I can see the L shape that shows up in the front view of this object. It has a height of 4 and a width of 5 and a material thickness of 0.75. I'll click on the sketch button on the toolbar to start a new sketch and I'm prompted to select a plane which I will select the front plane. Right click and from the pop-up menu view normal to sketch plane to turn this towards me for drawing. Choose a line command from the toolbar and I'm going to rough out this L shape using my automatic constraints that are suggested as I go along that's a horizontal and a vertical another horizontal. I will wake up this endpoint and see a projected coincident. I will click and then go to the endpoint and click again. I can see that this creates an enclosed region and escaping the line to end the line command. Next I'll use my dimension tool and clicking on this line that shows the height from the keyboard set this at 4 and this bottom edge showing the width set the value at 5. The thickness of the material that's shown on this end I'll set to 0.75 and I want this thickness to remain consistent through this L-shaped object so I'm going to apply a equal constraint so that this line is equal to this line making it a consistent thickness. So now if I were to edit the thickness here you can see that both of these will change together. My object is now constrained with dimensional constraints and if I use the show constraints I can see the icons for the geometric constraints. But the blue color of the lines tell me that there is still a degree of freedom that's left and my object is not fully defined. With no command active if I click on a line and drag you can see that the object will maintain its shape and its size but it moves freely about the sketch plane. So the last step is to make sure that my sketch is constrained to the sketch plane. And to do that, I'm going to use a coincident. And I'm going to make this corner of my sketch coincident to the origin of my sketch plane. And when I apply that coincident constraint, you'll see that all the lines turn black, indicating that my object is fully defined or fully constrained. Looking back at my reference drawings, I can see that the length along this edge is 5. So I'll end my sketch either by right-clicking the mouse and choosing Confirm Sketch from the pop-up menu, or I can use the green check mark on the sketch dialog box to end the sketch. And you can now see the sketch shows up as Sketch 1 in my feature list. I'm going to right-click the mouse and choose to change the view to isometric and choose Extrude to create the feature. You can see that in the dialog box for Extrude that I'm creating a solid part. It's going to be a new part. Uh, I need to choose the faces or regions and so we'll choose that sketch and it's going to be extruded in this direction coming forward from the sketch plane and we'll choose to accept this and I've created my base feature as a solid object. 